Hello and welcome to another Nicole guide where we will be talking about some intermediate stuff Mixing in Nicole, Ambi, Ambi, Alexandria And you know, just okay. in general figuring out how we can have her work outside of just using her basic attacks So the first thing when it comes to using her, as I said in the beginner guide Her Aether anomaly is not that great and so the first thing you want to see right here is um her anomaly mastery and her anomaly proficiency so as you can see it enhances the damage inflicted by attribute anomalies each point is equivalent to one percent so if you got we'll, we'll talk about builds in the in the expert session section but this is to start you off anomaly proficiency and anomaly mastery all of this is important this affects how much the anomaly builds up. So let's say, hit him with that. What is that? That's anomaly right there. We go to the stats, we build it up. If we had 100 anomaly mastery, we would be building up anomaly out the wazoo. And that is the thing. Right now, base, the way she comes, even like, I have her charged up a little. And she's still not doing that much anomaly damage, like in general. And that's something to keep in mind because you may like Nicole as a character, right? But what you want is for this to be built up at least to right here, okay? And the reason why that is, is because you want to hit disorder. And what I have noticed, and I mean, like, look at that. That anomaly is going up a lot faster than... What's it called? Um, Nicole's, and I honestly don't know why. Oh, that's why, okay. So, I mean, she's just not doing enough damage, like, in general, by herself when it comes to it. So, you want to build this up. These guys can build it up consistently. You got stuff like this going on consistently. Like, some freaking shenanigans. Like, just straight up shenanigans going on consistently. Look, that stuff is already almost built up. Not, like, fully there, but it's, I mean, it's getting built up. Now, does that build anomaly really well? Yes, it definitely does. But the issue is, you have to use Nicole and she she's not good by herself see she's just not i'm just that's what you have to do look at what she's doing that's how you have to build up your um your gauge i'm looking at it right now there there's no way to build it up faster so you hit it with the anomaly boom the electric is wow still not corrupted like that this is what i'm talking about i'm spending more time trying to corrupt you and then now we get this order 7k now it's worth it because 7k is a lot of freaking damage but the thing is you need to build up for that and that is what i'm trying to say so getting that um the anomaly damage up getting the aether damage bonus because clearly that electric damage is doing a lot more than i thought it was that was insane how much damage it was doing um energy regen all of that good stuff is what you would need to have her be Push beyond the beginner rank and have her just be intermediate. You know what I'm saying? Have her be more useful. Have her be inter like weave in between teams. You don't have to just have her have her at uh, one team at the start and never use her again. Now, would it be harder to use her? Yes. Will it take blood, sweat, and tears? Maybe not blood, but probably some sweat and tears. I'm not gonna lie because it's not easy using a character that's that's like this. You know, like that. She she's she's simple enough by design but because of that it's like you have to be conscious of her shortcomings and i mean you're you're sacrificing a lot of damage i feel like she's i mean look how slow her her normal attack is that's with me mashing it i'm sure you can like frame perfect it so it comes out faster but if you're sitting there frame perfecting it every time i feel like that's you taking away from your the mental energy of you looking at your gauge being concentrated on what you're filling up because you're trying to hit the perfect <laughs> freaking timings every time and look still not built up i'm i'm building this pretty i would say i'm doing a lot <laughs> i mean like y'all see it he's still not corrupted so just like that is the intermediate way of how I see Nicole being used, like, trying to do some disorder damage with her, but it's really 
difficult to try and even say that it's, it's worth it like that. Energy regen. How much you receive per uh, per second in combat. How much generated through energy regen from hitting enemies. She's barely getting any. <laughs> She's barely getting any. That's like absolutely insane. Man, people need that energy generation rate. I don't think I've ever seen anybody with that actual symbol on them. Now that I'm sitting here recording it. I don't think I've seen anybody with the symbol on them. I think I've seen the energy regen and that's it. I've been confusing the two. But regardless, you want her to be able to gain energy while she's fighting consistently. And she says she has issues doing that. And because she has issues doing that, it, it makes it hard for me to say anything more right now than focus on disorder. Focus on, um, you know, this that anomaly buildup. Because I feel like right now, I, that being the start, it can be a lot better if you build her for Anomaly. Which will be in the expert discussion that we will be talking about in the next video. But this is all that I can provide for this video. Because everything that I'm saying is for Nicole specifically. There is not too much to her. There's not anything too crazy with her. It's just all how you work with her. How you can make her work. And how you can make everybody work around her. My nail artist said this color attracts money. I'm not gonna go bankrupt if I break a nail, right? <laughs>